Hey, what's going on guys? It's Marcus from IQ Android. I'm rooting a new Galaxy Tab Pro 10.1. So take a look at this and watch follow along and see how easy it's going to be to make this a way better tablet than it is right now. We're going to upgrade from the stock 4.4.2 up to the new Lollipop 5.1.0. Oh, and that's on Cyanogen Mod 12.1. All right, let's take a look. All right, as you can see right now, we've got the Galaxy Tab Pro 10.1, and it's in download mode. Uh, we're going to go ahead and root it right now. So take a look at the screen. It's uploading, actually downloading. All right, let's see if auto root. And just like that, it's coming back up. All right, and now we're rooted. So I'll show you in a few minutes here um, that the Android operating system is now has root access. And I'll put on root checker so you guys can see. All right, I'm back with the Galaxy Tab Pro 10.1. And we've got it rebooted after we rooted the, phone, rooted the device. And now we're going to go through root checker real quick just to show you that we do have root. So I'm hitting verify root. It's going to pop up asking for permission. Super user, congratulations. You are now properly rooted on this device. Welcome back. All right, we're still here with the Galaxy Tab Pro 10.1. And we're about to do the custom recovery so we can install our new custom ROM. So stay tuned. We're about to do that right now. Flashing twerp, TWRP, let's go. All right, we're back. We're flashing twerp, recovery. Going through Odin. It's flashing it right now. When it gets done, we're gonna go ahead and power it off. Turn it back on so I can show you. All right, as you can see, we're booting up into Twerp Recovery right now. It's the newest version, 3.1, 3.0.2. Take a look at that. All right, so we're all set. We're gonna go ahead and load our custom ROM. Okay, so this is gonna be Cyanogen Mod. So we're going to go ahead and wipe. And then I'll come back so that way you guys don't have to wait. Actually, that was pretty quick. So we're going to go ahead and go back. I like to do the wipe like two or three times just to make sure everything's cleared out. Okay, we're not going to do a format data or um, advanced wipe on this, so we're going to go back and install. And I loaded this one on the external card, so we're going to select storage, micro SD, and here it is, Cyanogen Mod, right there with the nightly, and open G apps. We're going to go to the tab pro here to get the right one. There we go. We're going to add the second one on so they can both install. Okay, so I've got both zips there and we're just going to swipe to flash. So let's go ahead and watch. There it goes now. It's loading.
All right. Finished one, and it's about to go through and load the G apps now. So that's Google Apps for Android 5.1 Lollipop. All right, that's all done. So we're going to go ahead and reboot system, and we're going to see our new custom ROM coming up right now. All right, there's our CyanogenMod logo. And the first boot up usually takes a little longer, so I'm going to come back when we get to the home screen for you. All right, so just so you know what to expect, you'll see that it says Android is upgrading. And now we're on the final step where it's finishing boot. So we'll get that first screen coming up right now. Go ahead and select United States. Okay, it's going to look for our Wi Fi. I'll go ahead and put that in right now for you. Off camera. Okay, it's connecting. Now that it's connected, it's going to go ahead and start that setup process. Okay, we're going to go ahead and skip the Google account for right now, but that way you can tell it does have G apps on there. Okay, and it's also going to allow us to select if we want Google Location Services. We're going to leave that off for right now. Okay. All right, let's get started. So you see we've got... Welcome to CyanogenMod. We're going to go ahead and go into the settings right now so I can show you guys our version and everything. So we're looking at About Tablet. And right here you can see we are now on 5.1.1, CyanogenMod 12.1. And this is the SM-T520 Galaxy Tab Pro 10.1. Alright, go ahead and enable developer options. Now that's available in settings. So now we've got developer options. We're going to go ahead and turn on USB debugging again. Alright. So the only thing left to do is just go ahead and get Super User and we'll get that Super SU off the Play Store. Uh, but everything else is all set. We've got G Apps. You can see Google Plus, Gmail is on here. Uh, we've got YouTube and everything. So we're all good to go. Thanks for watching and if you got any questions, please definitely uh, send us a message. You can always like or subscribe to this video and that way you'll be right there when we come out with the next one.